said this is it it's finished there's no hope it's done this is where my end begins you said it you just said it just a day ago and God literally says to you today this is not your end this is literally your finest moment it is the beginning of what I poured into you and it is the moment in which everything is going to change it's just the beginning the enemy would try to convince you that this is your end, it is your finality, and that everything good is gone. But what God says to you that this is just the beginning in your life, that it requires you to own it, it requires you to step into the moment, to step into faith, to step into a declaration of Jesus, that he's not leaving you, he's not forsaking you, because that's not what he says. I'll tell you what his, he says. The Word of God says in Deuteronomy, boldly before you, it says, and you faithfully, when you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord and carefully follow the commandments, the Lord will set you high above all nations of the earth. You've said to yourself, I don't even feel like I'm above the lowest of the low, but that's not what God says because God says he will set you above. He is ready to move in your life. He says, and all of these blessings shall come to you. They shall come upon you that shall overtake you. That if you will simply obey the voice of Lord, of the Lord blessing after blessing shall be in your city. Amen. Blessing after blessing will be in the field. Blessing after blessing shall be upon the fruit of your womb and the fruit of the ground and the fruit of the cattle and the increase of your herds and the increase of your family. Blessing shall be in your basket. Blessing shall be in your kneading bowl. Blessing shall be as you come in and as you go out. The blessing shall be because the Lord says he will cause your enemies. He will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeat, defeated before your very eyes. Amen. That's worth a shout of praise. That's worth of declaring that this morning, that they shall come out against you one way and they will flee before you seven others. Listen, this isn't the end. This is just the beginning of what a magnificent God, of what a magnificent Jesus has for you. And as our team sings that out, come on family, as our team sings that out, as we worship this morning, you find yourself in this place. I want you to stand in declaration. I want you to stand in victory. I want you to raise your hands in declaration and victory that Jesus is moving in our life. Here we go, come on. 